Hello everybody, Trojans for Life here, and welcome to the Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 Reaction and Analysis video. In today's video, we're going to be analyzing the Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 trailer, Steam page, as well as the upcoming Nightmare Critters, which have recently been revealed. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for more Poppy Playtime content in the future, and let's hop right in. Alright guys, so here we are, reacting to the Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 teaser trailer. Let's just get right in. Alright, there's a smiling critter, and another smiling critter that's still alive. This looks very different. Oh my gosh, wow. Definitely a deeper part in the factory with all the critters that are dead, and you can see like more of like the... the, the uh, stuff on the side to show that it's a part of it. Oh, he's eating it. That's dog day, by the way, guys. Oh, I didn't even notice that was a thing. All right. Mm, chapter four. January. That's actually really close. Holy cow, guys. All right, guys, in this first shot of the trailer, we can see uh, the smiling critter Dog Day as he walks through a storage uh, part of the Playtime Co. factory. Again, this is deep below ground from the previous chapter where we left off where uh, Kissy Missy had been attacked and Poppy Playtime and our protagonist uh, had gone down uh, to figure out where uh, the rest of the uh, people were that were living here uh, in the Playtime Co. factory. Uh, Finding the rest of the secrets, probably defeating the prototype. You can see uh, the last uh, smiling critter dog day alive uh, as he walks by more smiling critters. And of course, guys, he's, since he's the only one alive, he decides to go eat from a previous smiling critter. And unsuspecting to him, there is a new character on the left side of dog day called Baba Chops, which we will get into later in this video. But Baba Chops is a part of the Nightmare Critters line, guys, and uh, is very separate from the Smiling Critters. And it is my theory that the Nightmare Critters were early designs or concepts for the Smiling Critters and were shelved because they were not marketable to a audience. And then you can clearly see that Baba Chops gets up and attacks uh, the last uh, Smiling Critter Dog Day, at least the stuffed animal. And then you can see a whole sleuth of dead mascots, as well as Baba Chops smiling very creepily into the camera uh, as you can pan out and see where this place is located. Clearly this is below uh, the play care and very far below the uh, whole factory uh, itself. And uh, on the left side and uh, even in the back you can see uh, two uh, big crates or boxes and then on the right side you can see some more crates as well and uh, on the leftmost crate there is a, uh, a symbol uh, with a red on the outside blue in the middle and yellow in the very very middle and uh, clearly uh, that uh, box has something to symbolize with um, what I believe to be boxy boo uh, as it matches his colors um, as one of the other uh, mascot toys that Playtime Co made and I will uh, elaborate further on the uh, box itself as we analyze the Steam page and the screenshots. Other than that, this uh, chapter is going to be, or at least is presumably going to be released um, in January of next year, which is coming close, so it's soon. But I'm really excited to see what uh, Chapter 4 has in, uh, in store for us. Brace yourself for the darkest chapter yet in the epic Poppy Playtime saga. You are pushed deeper into the undiscovered depths of the Playtime Co. factory, far below anything the world knew. Here you'll encounter terrifying new threats and discover shocking revelations. Can you outwit the unnatural new creations lurking in the shadows? Can you survive here long enough to eventually unravel the mysteries behind the experiments? Every step will test your courage, Every puzzle will change your mind, and every corner may be your last. Features 
New characters and allies. New extraordinary characters guide your way and haunt your nightmares. Expanded lore. Discover more about the dark secrets of Playtime Co. and its twisted past. Mind-bending puzzles. Solve intricate puzzles that could mean the difference between life and death. Heart-pounding atmosphere with haunting visuals and immersive sound design. The terror never lets up. Will you survive the horrors hidden within Playtime Co.? Or will you succumb to the terror? Survival isn't guaranteed. Fear is. As we look at each of these screenshots, guys, we can see in the first one, this is again below the play care, as I mentioned above. And this is in, I'm assuming, a uh, jail or jailhouse. We can clearly see that there is security cameras on the walls as well as this is the main desk of security. And again, that box or symbol is being shown again. And clearly we can see that it looks very similar to Boxy Boo's design. Again, the red being on the outside, the blue being in the middle, and the yellow being the star on Boxy Boo. You can also see other uh, cages where uh, other experiments were locked up, as well as a very interesting color scheme on the walls. The next teaser shows off what looks to be a garbage chute or in one of the cells. As you can clearly see lots of garbage all around the floors of the facility or of the room. And you can see a fan above that. It also looks like we'll, we will be exploring each type of uh, facility and area in this jailhouse as we will get onto in the further screenshots ahead. Another part of this game looks like we will be in the sewer systems and the caves, just like in the last chapter with uh, Catnap, where we went off into the caves of Playtime Co. This facility is built very deep underground and it goes very far below. So it looks like we'll be exploring more caves. It's very dark, so I'm sure we will have to use our flare gun again. And on top of that, it looks like this screenshot shows a generator, so we might have to turn on the generators to turn on the power in this place so we can get it up and running again. The next screenshot shows all the uh, containment areas or jail cells for each of these experiments that has been uh, trapped in here. Uh, you can clearly see some of them are closed, some of them are open, but all of this is in a jail cell or jail house. And again, like I said before, in the first screenshot we analyzed, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of different experiments in these containers uh, that they're keeping them in. And maybe we're uh, able to free all of them or fix them, save them, who knows? The next one, again, is showing off more of the cave systems in Playtime Co. Clearly this place was built a long time ago because you can see that this cave system goes very far below ground, and this is even below the play care. So it seems like this may have been built in like the 30s when uh, Playtime Co. was established, or even the 50s, and maybe uh, uh, the company decided to uh, make its factory very far below, but you can see the jump pads as well as areas to get to and explore. The last screenshot shows off uh, Baba Chops, one of the nightmare critters as well as poppy playtime chapter four a factory uh environment behind her and uh, what her actual model looks like and we will talk about the nightmare critters right now the nightmare critters are a line of toys that playtime co made whom i believe are the rejected or concept for the smiling critters Due to the descriptions of each of the critters and their actions, I believe they didn't sell well. So they scrapped the Nightmare Critters designs and decided to go with the Smiling Critters instead as it was more of a marketable approach. Let's go over each of the critters now and analyze them in depth. Baba Chops. The black sheep of the bunch. Baba prefers to keep her space, like a lot of space, too much space. She can be distant, quiet, low energy, and it usually requires a lot of coaxing to get her out of the house. Luckily for her, she has some very persistent friends. She usually perks up after a while, but the next day, we're right back to the same thing. Icky Licky Icky's the type of kid to fall behind in a relay race and immediately pin it on a sore knee. Even when that's not the case, 
He's the very definition of a poor sport. Even though he's naturally talented, he's consistently challenging everyone on absolutely everything, and usually without the outcome he expects. Don't worry, he has an excuse ready. Raby Baby. Raby Baby couldn't keep a secret if her life depended on it. If there's one thing in the world she loves, it's gossiping, and she's very practiced at it. She has no concept of privacy or boundaries, and if she's in the room, you can bet she's eavesdropping on someone. Don't worry, if she ever runs out of juicy secrets to talk about, she'll just make some up. Alistair Gator. Alistair's an all-around lazy guy. He's chill, sure, but if he could, he'd spend all day in the water doing pretty much nothing. He isn't a fan of a whole put in the effort and see the effort rewarded. But he's much more of a believer of the philosophy. Good things have to come to me eventually. I just need to wait around for it. He's still waiting. Simon Smoke. Simon Smoke knows he's cool and popular, and he makes sure nobody forgets it. Whether showing off for his friends or just bragging about one of his accomplishments, it's always a popularity contest with him. Almost always he wins. In truth, he's a colossal jerk. But he does have a knack for getting away with being one. Poe hates the sun and thinks it is a cruel trick of nature that the world needs it in the first place. Most comfortable in the dark, they spend their nights hanging around graveyards listening to music and feeling vaguely angry at nothing in particular. They insist it isn't a phase. Tui, it is pronounced Tui, is a self-proclaimed trash rodent. When he's not busy eating and collecting garbage, he's a lively conversationalist. He talks a lot, which is made all the more surprising by him having shockingly little to say. If you ever need someone to provide insightful commentary or just some random piece of junk, who is your guy? Maggie Mako. Maggie is always thinking about her belly. She's happiest with food in her mouth, and believe us, she's not picky. He loves sweets, but veggies, yuck. Don't be surprised if she takes your health eating habits, advice, with a dabble of sugar, some chocolate syrup, whipped cream, and a big cherry on top, all while laughing at you profusely. So as we can see guys, these are pretty much the complete opposites of the smiling critters. The smiling critters were very upbeat and helpful and friendly, whereas these guys are very negative, down, wrong, mean, rude, and you can see that with all the descriptions I read. This is not confirmed, but from what I'm assuming, a few of these characters will be in Chapter 4. I believe that Baba Chops, Chewie, and Maggie Mako will make an appearance as their Bigger Bodies initiative form. The reason I believe that all of these characters will make an appearance at is because Baba Chops was shown in the trailer and we know that her smiling critter was shown so I believe she will be there. On top of that I believe Tui will make an appearance as he's there to help you and give you insightful commentary and again if we were to believe from the last chapter when the smiling critters were released the last critter to be revealed was Catnap and I believe that because Maggie Mako is the last critter to be revealed, I believe she will be the antagonist of this chapter. Overall, I'm really excited for this chapter, and again, I can't wait for Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 to be released. Again, it's going to be coming out in January, hopefully, and again, we got all the nightmare critters to meet and see. Again, those are the three, though, that I believe will be in this chapter, and again, we'll probably learn more about the prototype, and maybe will be able to stop him. I don't know if there are any more chapters other than chapter four or if a chapter five is going to happen, but I do know that this chapter is gonna be great. I'm really excited for it and I cannot wait for it to come out. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching today's video on the Poppy Playtime chapter four trailer reaction and analysis. It was interesting to deep dive into this trailer and react to it and analyze it as well as the steam page and the nightmare critters make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for more poppy playtime content in the future and i will see you guys in the next video bye